What's up, Peak Timers? Today we're getting a close up look at the Greenlight 2017 Ford GTs from the Heritage Racing Set. Let's go ahead and open them up and get a close up look at them. Here they are guys, we've got three different color variations from the Heritage Racing Greenlight series. We'll start it off with the yellow one, we'll throw these ones aside, and I believe there's actually one other color, there's a golf racing color as well, but uh, I found the black, red, and yellow, and I particularly like the yellow one, I think it's a very nice. They all have different wheels on them, and I'll show you the back as well, show some information about how they won the Le Mans, and all that information if you care to see, but we're gonna go ahead and just go and open this up. So let's uh, let's just crack it right from the top right here. I don't care to keep these all nice and collected, so I'm just gonna pop it open from there. And we'll just pull the car right out, and let's get a nice close-up look at the actual car itself. There it is. Beautiful detail on this one, beautiful yellow color. It's a little bit different yellow from what it looks like in the package. Maybe it just could be just with my lights or so, but it does look a little bit different, but very nice and nonetheless. You can see the actual tires have a blue trim on them. That's kind of interesting. Don't know why they have that, but check out the detail from the back. It's even got the full pass through, so if you look from that angle, you can see that it does have the aerodynamic pass through, which the Hot Wheels variation does not have. So the detail on this is definitely a lot higher, a lot better, um, and you do pay more for these as well. I paid about $7 Canadian each for these ones, but they are very nice. And if you don't watch uh, Drag Times, Drag Times uh, YouTube channel just got one of these in real life, a real yellow Ford GT just delivered to them. So they're very, very nice, popular, cool looking car. But there is the yellow one. We'll put the yellow one down and we'll grab the black one. There is the black one, 2017 Ford GT. And the black one has, uh, they're like a gold wheel on this black one. So let's go ahead and I will pop this one open as well. And again, I'm just gonna use my X-Acto knife. Packaging is gonna get destroyed. Uh, it does say these are limited edition. I don't know the exact number that they made of these, but. I don't really care, I just wanna open them up and see, and I do have some Hot Wheels ones which we will compare these two in a second, so stay tuned and I'll show you the actual comparison. There's the black one, and you can see the black one, I'll just brighten up for you guys a little bit here, so number two on the side, the gold wheels, and again, this one has the full pass-through, you can see the aerodynamic pass-through, so great detail. I didn't show you the bottom of the pass one, so let's see, so very different bottom, it's just completely flat and that's kind of interesting so that's just the way to do it but there's the the yellow I'm dropping here yellow and the black one right there both with the number two on the side and the black one has the silver striping on it and from the front end and you can see the aerodynamic pass-through as well on the front end variation right there number two on the side it's a little bit different of a two though you can see it's more of a newer looking too, as opposed to a classic looking too on the black one. But uh, very nice. All right, let's throw those down and let's open up the red colored variation that I've got right here. So red with the black wheels. I think this one looks really good as well. Let's go ahead and crack this one open. Do it the same way I did the other ones here. There we go, completely broke that packaging. I'm just gonna pull it right out here. And there is the nice number three on the side of this one, whereas the other ones had the two. I don't know why they have different numbers. Um, and this one, it is, I'd say it is a red variation. Almost looks a little bit orangey with my light here. Again, my lighting just brightens it up, but I love the black wheels on this one. Very, very nice. I, I would have liked to actually have seen the black one with black wheels. That would be cool, all blacked out. But uh, red with black is very nice. We get some Hot Wheels in the Porsches that have the red with black and they look fantastic. But wow, the details on this is just fantastic. They are greatly detailed. Very, very nice 2017 Ford GTs. There they are. Let's get all colors out so you guys can see them all kind of side by side. Right there, I'll hold them in my hand so you guys can see. Eh, there's some nice ones. I, I don't know. It's hard to say which one now is my favorite. Originally, I thought the yellow one was, but maybe that red one. 
I don't know, they're, they're all just so nice. But let's go ahead and grab some Hot Wheels variations and we can do a little bit of a comparison. You guys can see the difference in detail. Okay, so we've got the yellow Hot Wheels one and the green light Hot Wheels one. So you can see kind of the differences here. We'll keep the yellow Hot Wheels one right here. And there's the green light one with the number two on it. And from the top, you can see that the Hot Wheels one is a little bit wider, but I think the proportions on the green light one are more real life accurate and you can actually even see the great engine detail on the green light one i didn't show you that before but you can even see the engine on the inside all covered whereas the hot wheels one it does have an engine inside covered but it's not nearly as detailed uh, let's go ahead and look at them from the front end again i think the green light one is just more detailed we'll do it from the side as well there they are yeah, the, the green light one is just, it just has the proportions down a lot better, but the Hot Wheels one still does look great. And what I was talking about, the aerodynamic pass through so you can see the Hot Wheels one uh, on the real life car, it actually has aerodynamics that pass through right underneath through here. And on the green light one, you can see that it does have that. So much better detail on the back and on the actual body itself. So very, very nice. I'll actually show you a silver one. Silver one shows up on camera better. So here's a silver Hot Wheels variation. And again, you can see from the back, they don't have that full pass through. Still decent detail, but uh, let's put the red one here side by side from green light. I'll grab it, I'm dropping it here. There we go. So you can see that the detail is just a lot better on the green light variations. But I mean, you're paying what, seven times more for the green light variation than you are for the Hot Wheels one. So uh, price-wise, I mean, for a dollar car, the Hot Wheels one, definitely a good one for a dollar. For seven bucks, I mean, maybe if you're collecting it and stuff, yes, it might be worth it, and the details are definitely a lot better. It's not a car you really wanna play with or go down the track. I don't think it'll be any good anyways, especially with the rubber tires on there. But for detail-wise, the green light ones are fantastic. All right, guys, let me know in the comments down below which color do you like best out of these three. I'm still up in the air. I, I like the yellow, but I'm liking the red one a lot better since I've opened it. Thanks, big timers, for watching this video. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe and throw this video a like. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.